I think it's safe to say that this is gonna go terribly wrong. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. It's me, Elisa. Um, and I am uh, self admittedly a terrible chef. If you guys have seen, I've done several cooking videos and it typically goes terribly wrong for many reasons, but mostly because I'm impatient and I don't like to follow directions. Although today I think might be a little bit different because I'm going to be trying out a TikTok uh, recipe, which they make it look so easy on there. Like, no problem. We just cut real fast, we throw all this stuff together, we put on cute music, and it's done in no time. Oh, and on top of that, it's healthy. So, you know, I'm here to kind of debunk that, uh, and also to admit that I actually saw this one specific one on Pinterest, because I really do avoid going on TikTok, but you can't avoid TikTok. Even if you avoid TikTok, you can't avoid TikTok. Anyways, I'm a big proponent of trying to make healthier versions of foods that I enjoy so much. So if I really have a craving for fries, I'll make sweet potato fries, things like that. You guys are in charge of your own bodies, your own diets, your own life. Uh, I'm just here to show you things that I am interested in on my journey and my life, you know, to continue to find a healthy lifestyle, but a balanced one where I don't feel like I'm depriving myself. So. Let's hop into this recipe. I'm so sorry to interrupt this video, but I <sighs> had to take a potty break. As you probably know, I have a very sensitive stomach. It's the root of all my fart jokes. After all, the best comedy comes from pain in my gut because I have leaky gut. So I'm really excited to talk about today's sponsor of this video, Ombre Lab. As you guys know, I take my brand deals very seriously, specifically when it comes to anything that has to do with health. As I was doing my research, I realized that I probably have a little bit of a leaky gut, which is super common and leads to inflammation, which then leads to things like acne, allergies, chronic fatigue, all the things that I've been feeling specifically recently. So this is why I was so excited to partner up and be sponsored by Ombre Lab. Ombre Lab offers an at-home test to check out your gut health. And let me tell you, I've done a lot of poop tests before and usually they are so horrendous and just make you feel like crap pun totally intended this was so very easy after you take your sample you package it up and you send it off it's pre-packaged pre-labeled the whole thing it's so easy you literally just put it in the mailbox and then pretty quickly after you'll receive an email explaining what they have found. Believe it or not, your hormones, artificial coloring in some of foods, things like that can actually really change the way your gut works. So once you get this detailed breakdown, they not only tell you what good bacteria you're missing or bad bacteria you're overfilled with, but they'll also give you a list of foods that you're gut is just like, uh, uh, uh. Interesting enough, I knew about a few of the foods that were on my list, but there were a few foods on there that I was actually surprised and that I eat kind of often, so I'm definitely going to be tweaking my diet. As much as I love hanging out in my bathroom, it ain't cute. The best part, at least in my opinion, is that they develop an individual personalized probiotic for your body and your results, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever gone to like Whole Foods or any sort of like health food place where they have probiotics. There's so many options and so many long words. It is so confusing. So to be able to get a very specific one for your specific body is brilliant. So if you think that you might have leaky gut or if you're just generally struggling with digestion, you can get $30 off your test kit if you use my link. Try ombre.com backslash leasebug. Get your gut health in order. And I promise to never bring you back here again. <laughs> okay, enjoy the video. This is the recipe for a banana oat pancake. Love a banana, love an oat, love a pancake. Let's do this. First, wash your hands because you have allergies and you've been rubbing your nose like a five-year-old. Why use a tissue when you can use your hand, you know? Next, this is gonna require a blender. In the video, it appears they're using like a single kind of smoothie ninja type of blender. I have this cheap kind of shitty one, so you know, that'll go well. Next, change the angle of your camera so that this appears to be more professional and appealing than it actually is. Ooh, ah, but what about me? Abort mission and go back to where you began. Because I mean, which is more important? This right now, this is the main ingredient. Abort mission yet again, just crouch down. 
Now we can both be seen. It suggests that you use a very ripe banana. Shocker, I'm impatient and didn't want to wait for the banana to ripen, so we're just gonna use this banana. I love a banana, I always forget about a banana. Never think to buy a banana. Bananas, these TikTok videos, I'll tell you what, they make it look so easy. But she's all in there cutting up this banana. She slices it like way thicker. And then she like ultimately puts what looks like just some of it into the smoothie maker. It calls for one full banana, but she didn't put the full banana in. I'm putting in the full banana. Bananas. All right, I'll put this part in my mouth. Next up, an egg. We don't have eggs, shocker, I'm unprepared. But we have this, it's an egg beater. This should work, right? For one large egg, you should use one quarter cup of this. Great, I can do that. Confession, there are far better looking recipes uh, that I saw. They just required a little bit more work and I felt like, you know what, let's just like work up to this. I feel like I gotta set the bar low. So like if this goes decently, then I can move on. You got this girl. Start with the crappy recipe. Work your way up. Not much of an egg eater, more like an egg beater. But I realize it's necessary. It is the glue that shall hold together this situation. Next, uh, three tablespoons of oat. Now, I'm gluten-free, so I have to do gluten-free oat. I'm also unprepared, so I don't have oats. But I do have this Bob's Red Mill Gluten-Free Oatmeal Classic. It's a instant oatmeal that I take with me when I'm traveling. So I happen to have one shoved in the closet uh, this does have a little bit more than what the recipe calls for. For this has uh, your grain oats, but it also has chia seed and flaxseed and sea salt. So, you know, I'm just like gonna elevate this recipe. What do you think about that, TikTok? How could this go wrong? I think I overdid it. One teaspoon of instant coffee, which is bizarre, first of all, that I have it. Um, because I'm not an instant coffeeer, but I was at the store the other day and I was like, you know what, that would be good to have. It's like I knew, but I didn't. I won't give myself that much credit. I don't know how I feel about this in combination with all this, but you gotta trust TikTok. That's the right thing to do. Trust TikTok. One teaspoon. Don't get those tablespoons and teaspoons mixed up, folks. Made that mistake several times. I'm like doing heap in spoons. And that'll do, folks. That's literally all it calls for. I feel like this is definitely not gonna blend properly, but let's see. Hi, I'm back over here now. I feel like I used to actually make pancakes, but they were made out of like protein powder. I gotta figure that one out and then get on TikTok and change my life. Fingies crossed. I used to work at Jamba Juice. It was like my first job when I was 16, so I know how to blend. It's actually working. The one thing that is kind of holding it back is the flaxseed and chia, which isn't TikTok's fault, it's mine. Hi, now you're over there. I didn't see her spray anything in the pan to prevent it from sticking, but I just did a little bit of coconut spray because I make my own choices. Um, I guess let's just give it a go. Jeff would be freaking out right now if he saw me doing this. He's like so good at recipes and like so meticulous and I am the opposite. Ooh, it didn't even say how long to like cook them for, but I think with pancakes, you just like kind of eyeball it. I kind of like miss like a cookbook where it like tells you everything and you don't have to rewatch it a million times. What do you guys think? Are you feeling like this is gonna work? It's sticking, it's sticking. Definitely not cooking as I was hoping it would, but definitely as I expected it would. Just need to give it a little time, Lisa. <sighs> I'm impatient. Sorry I'm not good at this, but I'm certainly having fun doing it. Even if it's bad, I'm gonna eat it. Okay. It does look like it did in the TikTok. Ooh, okay, yes, that looks like a pancake. Okay, okay, I understand I flipped you a little too soon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. These are good. Okay, I don't know what the secret is. This pan usually is good in terms of stuff not sticking, but I feel like these ingredients are very sticky, but let me show you so far. Okay, I get it, not the prettiest, not the prettiest, but at least they like look like pancakes. They just look like a kid made them. See, this is the problem, I'm impatient, I eat as I go. So by the time it's done, I'm full and or half of it's gone. I wanted to go like this and then just like magically reveal this like beautiful pile of pancakes, but here's the reality. Hi, you're back here now. What a journey you've been on. Tell me why I'm like thinking that I'm gonna get so hopped up on caffeine from that like one scoop. That can't happen, right? Here's the final result. I understand. It's not beautiful, but it's not terrible. I also think we have agave, so I'm gonna put a little on as a syrup. And there you have it. I'm a chef now. 
nothing like a 4 p.m. pancake. I don't think I cooked it all the way, but I'm also like not mad about it. I also don't think it tastes like anything. Oh, Jab, do you want to try this pancake I made? Hi, right. mate. Take a look. Mmm. Dookie cakes. I know, dude. Okay, I'm a TikTok star. Now. Give me a half of that. So these are healthy, so don't worry. Mmm. Healthy dukes. This is gonna be gross. What do you think, honestly? Dry and plain. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything, huh? It tastes dry and plain. <laughs> it's so plain. Yeah. And so dry. But it's healthy-ish. It's, it's, you know what's even healthier is not eating. <laughs> Woo! Guys, I feel like I, this is good. I feel like I'm kicking off my journey as a chef on TikTok. Proud of you. You took the initiative. You baked these delicious, Dookie cakes. That that's the magic of this is that you can wow your friends and they're gonna be like, oh my god, this tastes like shit. And you can be like, yeah, I bet it doesn't. And they take a bite and they're like, oh, it doesn't taste like anything. I'll take that as a compliment. That's like a fun like. At way. least it's not disgusting. Like you know on Halloween when you put out like the bowl of grapes and it's like eyes. Uh -huh. You could put this out and be like, it's mummy shit. And everyone's like, ew. And then they eat it and they're like, oh, it's nothing. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I my actually, little chef, I'll be making dinner tonight. Yeah, exactly. And every night. My stomach kind of hurts. Anyways, this was fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Enjoy what? What? The making of this. Oh, uh, the making of it was probably very entertaining. Yeah, they don't get to eat it. I'm sorry, but I'll leave the recipe below. Let me know how yours turned out. I'm still eating it. I still like it. I could do one of those Food Network things where it's like, all right, close your eyes. Imagine, if you will, an empty void. Black. <laughs> No sound, mm -hmm. no taste, no smell. Yeah. It's like you're floating in cosmic oblivion. All around you is infinite, empty space. Mm -hmm. That's what they taste like. Mm -hmm. Well said. Can't hear that on TikTok. Or can you? I love you guys. If you want to see more cooking videos, TikTok or not, let me know. Thank you, Ombre, for sponsoring this video. I am so grateful for the information I learned through you, and I can't wait to implement it. Especially now, after this, when my stomach is like turning and gurgling and I, I gotta go. Love you guys, bye!